Hi guys and welcome back to one of our newest builds. Today we have a Rubicon 4 door in the color silver. Now we've done something very different with this and we'll talk to you step by step. Now what we've done is this time we've gone ahead and installed the uh, Falcon 3.3 series fast adjustable piggyback shocks. Now these shocks have a travel between 2.5 inch and 4.5 inch. Now for this build, we've gone ahead and matched it with the Skyjacker 3.5 inch springs. Now it has the full kit, it has the front heavy duty drive shaft, so on and so forth. What we've done is done a little bit of detailing here and there. We've gone ahead and painted the shocks, uh, the springs in red to give it a little bit of an accent, right? Now, apart from the lift kit, We've gone ahead and matched it with the Rough Country new series of the dual steering stabilizer to allow the steering wheel to, to be straight and for the car to drive straight on the highway without it shifting left and right like a boat, which is regular on the Jeep Wrangler, but this allows it to stabilize. Now there are so many different versions of these as well and different brands and so on and so forth. Now we've gone ahead and changed the front bumper, it's the full length it's got its own bar. We've added the Expo 14.5 LBS winch. We've gone ahead and matched them with ox beam lighting. We've got two pairs, a pair on the front bumper, and then we've got a pair on the sides. Now, these ox beam lights, you can have the option of having covers onto them that will protect it. And if you live in a country that does not allow you to do the passing without the covers, you can go ahead and cover them. We'll keep this on the side and come back to it tires we've got 37 inch tires on 22 inch rim now the usual is 20 however go big or go home right uh, they're more off-road tires rather than road tires so they might have a little bit of noise and a little bit of vibration however they are phenomenal for the off-roading has amazing grip and adds to the overall aesthetic of the jeep so we didn't want to compromise that nobody really buys a jeep for comfort only right moving onwards we've got the metal high fenders what we've done here is we've added the metal high fenders for the aggressive aesthetic but at the same time it's giving us enough clearance between the tire and the fender so that when you do off-road the tires don't smash into the fenders and damage them now because we've gone ahead and installed the high metal fenders we've matched them with metal inner liner fenders this gives you extra protection it looks better no need to cut the original plastic piece now since we're already on the inner liner fenders let me show you what we've done in terms of air compressor now the usual is we install the air compressor under the seat the passenger seat and have the connection from there but to make life easier especially for people that regularly off-road we've gone ahead and added a connection of the outlet for the air compressor under each fender so we've got a separate pipe for each tire so each pipe will go from the fender into the rim allowing the inflation to happen in terms of aesthetics, we've gone ahead and painted the front grille in glossy black and added the red signature lines to match the springs that we've painted. We've got the Avenger bonnet with the center in glossy black to give it that accent with our amazing rounding put into the side. If we move forward, we've got the side marker light. Now, what happens with the side marker light? If I open the door, go ahead and gives me white light. However, if I indicate, it will give me amber light and I'll show you that later on. Let's go to the back. We've matched it with Jeepers Linex side steps, metal two pieces. We have the metal rear bumper. Now with the metal rear bumper, they've got these hooks that you can connect to, right? But they also come with white LED lights. Now this white LED light, it could be illegal to actually use on the road. So it's got a separate switch for it. We've also gone ahead and installed the wiring harness for the tow hitch so that if you were to go ahead and pull a trailer or anything behind, you've got the wiring to connect the electrical connections to it. So it's not illegal. Then we've got the exhaust, the dual pipe in chrome. So it's the louder version, but still RTA approved. We've painted the rear hook in red to match it all together. Now, if we were to go onto the inside, we've gone ahead and done black leather seats with red stitching. Now, because it's such a basic color on the inside, we've gone ahead and done the red seat belts. Okay, now onto the inside, we've got the carbon fiber steering wheel, which I think everyone should have one. Other than it looks amazing, it gives you much better grip because of the thickness on it. And no, you don't end up burning your hands because you've got the leather on the side. And then you've got all the stitching with the detailing to match the red color. 
What we've also gone ahead and done is added the covers of the carbon fiber aesthetic all the way on the sides of the doors, on the dashboard to match the steering wheel and in the center as well. All right, so right now, what I want you to hear is the exhaust because it sounds amazing. Okay, now what we've also gone ahead and done is added the pedal commander under the steering wheel right here. So pedal commander is one of our favorite products is the throttle controller. Basically what it does, it allows for the uh, throttle response to be a lot more instant. So when you accelerate on the Jeep Wrangler, it doesn't immediately respond to the acceleration of the foot pedal going down. So it allows that sensitivity to increase. You can turn it on and off and you can control how sensitive it is, which is amazing. Now, what I want you to do is to go ahead and check out the side marker that I was telling you about. I'm going to indicate and the amber lighting will turn on along with the mirrors on the sides. So another feature we have on this Jeep that other Jeeps don't usually have, and it's kind of been discontinued for a while now, especially here in the GCC region, is the hardtop is actually the Sky One Touch hardtop, which is an electric sunroof. Now you can, yes, remove the entire hardtop just like a regular Wrangler. However, you can keep the hardtop on and just press on a button and it will open up. So with the button over here on the top of the mirror, the entire sunroof starts to open up and light comes through. And then if you're in Dubai and you live in a region where it hardly ever rains, but that one week that it decides to pour out, you don't need to actually put your hard top back on. You can just put the sunroof back in place with the switch of a button. All right, so this is it for today. However, anything you'd like us to shoot, talk about, show you more of what we've got, whether it be a car, a build, or an actual product that you want us to film, go ahead and let us know in the comments. We'd love to know what's on your mind and what you'd like to see. However, please do remember, it's not a Jeep if it's not a Jeepers edition. Thank you.